Welcome to off season part one. Just gonna show you a little bit of training or maybe not so much training. Enjoy. Might be able to tell I've just finished a run. Ah, was maybe my third run back. My heart rate feels pretty high. My legs and body feel okay. But just getting back into the swing of things. This last week has been random. Well there's been no structure to it, it's just train or do whatever I feel like when I feel like it. Like I said, yeah, it's my third run. None of them been longer than 45 minutes. I've done two and a bit bikes. I say a bit because I only did like half an hour in the turbo. And two outside rides, which was so nice. They were good days. It was chilly, like quite, the car was frosted over in the morning. So I had to layer up with a little bit different, remembering all the things you need, thermals, jacket, rain jackets just in case, putting your booties on, it adds that extra time your ride time and that ride planning which you don't normally which I haven't had in the last few months when you're training in Spain or, or the US. Swimming I have swam twice or once in the local pool in Salisbury which was, well, was fine I only I knew I only had to do like 2k and I just plodded along. I think my feel for the water is okay and technique wise it's quite good but I just lost all like strength and fitness or well, not all strength and fitness because I was lucky enough to join Ruth shout out to Ruth for letting me and the squad up there in Leeds to swim with them and it was really good I, don't, uh, I joined them for a VO2 session luckily they toned down their VO2 session a little bit not for me for any means just a little bit less than what they normally do so it was 1k worth of VO2 effort and I and it was three sets and I did the first two sets with a bit more intent trying to go VO2 and then the last set I just uh, pulled it back and just swam strong steady and I was really surprised at some of the times I saw which I guess gives me hope for the next few weeks but my arms feel it today yeah it was so good the main thing I really liked about swimming up there was to see other triathletes and it sounds so stupid but like it gives you such motivation and encouragement to see other people in a similar position to you turning up to training and getting your job done no complaints and doing it with a smile and just enjoying it and I miss that so I'm looking forward to getting back and training with a group again in the next few days or few weeks if anyone wants to ride who lives in the area I'm happy for a ride partner but as my bike legs have shown on the last of the two or three rides that I've been on, I am not so strong at the moment and heart rate's quite high, so it would have to be a nice steady ride. <laughs> it's nice to get back into a little bit of structure. I think the main thing for me in these these next well, these last two weeks and next few weeks is just getting those habits back, making sure that I do the small things that are right and trying to do them every day so that when it comes to the main block of the season they don't feel like a hassle they're just so normal that I do them every day yes sorry my arms aching <laughs> your mobility ankle exercises your core work and even like personal stuff that makes me feel better like making sure that I don't know having a routine before bed making my skin body and nutrition is all right I guess when you're off season you eat a little bit richer foods a bit more of it you don't get quite enough sleep and then I am not a person who likes to feel unhealthy so I didn't do it as much as I could have done like I was probably quite reserved really in terms of like 
alcohol consumption or rich foods, I really hate feeling unwell. Even just a little cold or waking up with a slight hangover, I'm like, oh, this is the worst thing ever. So I've avoided it to a degree, but to make myself feel healthier and happier is, I'd much rather be in that position. So yeah, just trying to get back into that routine of, of eating well. And it doesn't necessarily mean less, like I still eat a lot because I love food, but just eating better quality meals and enjoying cooking again. So yeah, I guess that's what the next few weeks are about, about. And it's still, it's still off season, just not off, off season, so. Unstructured trading, building back slowly, may add a little bit, a little bit of intensity in the next few weeks. So follow along, see how this fitness progresses. Hopefully, my heart rate will lower, and I'll feel a little bit stronger. And my arms won't ache as much because I keep, keep having to drop this phone. But yeah, enjoy. Keep it up. Everyone out there, you're probably in the same position as me. Reach out, tell me how your off season's going, and yeah, peace out. <laughs>